I'm Annie Golden, and I'm the Broadway Bounty Hunter. And hey, you're watching BeWayShow.com. Shoshana here at Broadway Bounty Hunters opening night off Broadway. Tonight we're finding out from the cast and creative team what makes everyone want to drop kick the patriarchy. Everyone is so diverse. Um, we always say that Lance and Joe and, and Jason were woke many years before people were woke because they wrote this many years ago and so there's something really amazing about having that right now in 2019 is important. The times are changing right now. Everyone's becoming more aware of the fact that we need to be inclusive and listen to more and more people and give more seats at the table. So I'm just, I'm so happy that this show is giving voice to people who aren't traditionally invited to the table and they're allowed to really shine and show their power. And yeah, it's been, it's been a, my own challenge as an Asian American actor, finding my way in New York City through the roles that have, are written and I'm trying to pave the way for those that are coming after me and I'm so grateful to those who have paved the way for me. Lucky me, uh, blessings abound, it's a sacred trust and a job requirement is you have to kick ass. And the crowd was pretty electric and it was really encouraging to see young people who were fans of Be More Chill, who didn't know one note of Broadway Bounty Hunter, who didn't know anything that it was about, um, to see young people get so excited and lose their minds. Yeah. And they feel the love, you know, I kind of then wrote this as a love letter to Annie Golden and so that's that love is on every page of anything Joy Connors touches I want to be a part of and to be uh, be a part of the acting company of Be More Chill who then gets to like come uh, on this side of the table and things and be uh, a writer on this show um, it's just the best crossover event of, of all time and you know it, like uh, with all things Joy Connors we're celebrating people that don't usually get a show written for them and I think Be More Chill focus, uh, focuses on that sort of like uh, you know, that other part of, the, of yourself that feels less than, and we're doing that in another way here at, at Broadway Bounty Hunter, so. It is such a humbling experience, especially working with this creative team and this cast. Um, the level of talent is unparalleled, and the humility that comes along with it is something that I've never experienced before. You have people that are at the top of the game, Joe Iconis, Jason Williams, Lance Rubin, Jen Werner, Annie Golden, you, the list goes on. The cast is stacked and we, we're a family. It's like uh, our producer Jen Tepper says, it's like, welcome to the Iconist family. Well, if the singing and the dancing are not brilliant enough, it's freaking funny. I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious, but I think, I think what several of my friends have been surprised at is that there are moments that made them cry. Well, that too. And they weren't, they weren't expecting it. Yeah. You know? And I love that it's a, it's an unexpected story yeah. that unfolds in an unexpected way. Yeah. You know, typically you go to theater in 10 minutes, you know exactly what's going to happen, you know, and this show is not that. And so that's it It is special. not that. <laughs> it's an amazing group of people, not just the cast, the actors, but the design team. Everyone is so diverse. Everyone is so amazing at what they do. Um, I'm in awe of them every day. They, they, quite frankly, they scare me, the amount of talent that um, they all have and their sort of fearlessness and their dedication um, to this show is really exciting. Being on stage with all these people with such stories to their heritage and their culture and just themselves as people, like it's, it's a blast getting to know them and this cast is phenomenal. It's so exciting to have um, a protagonist who's a woman of a certain age because that just doesn't happen and she gets to have action and adventure and love and romance. Um, and she's, she's really truly a badass and m most of that is because um, at the end of the day she's comfortable with who she is. All the other women in the show are really strong but strong in the fact that they are comfortable in their own skin and who they are and that is really uplifting and at the end of the day it's, it's really about just making meaning in your life no matter how old you are. I find it really empowering to get to do this like to kick a little ass on stage so I love that part of it. So that very first moment, Jen was like, I want you to come out and I want you to be like a huh. But for me, coming out and starting that show with that outfit on and those leather pants, to me, it was a ow. And so that, and Jen was like, keep it. I love it. Her and Joe was like, because that to me, like it being the beginning of the show and the start of what we're about to do here, it's a scream cry. 
it's like y'all get ready because it's about to go down. I threw things out there and then you collaborate and, and, and Jen, our fabulous director, Jen Werner, uh, you know, guides and shapes and makes sure we're all on the same page and, you know, the art of that. And, um, but yes, you want to be in a fertile environment where everyone is like, you know, hey, let's put on a show. Because at the end of the day, we want to entertain people. We want people to have a good time. The show celebrates so much of, you know, that and all the good things it has to say. Our big touchstones were like funk, soul, and R&B of the 1970s. So like the big things that I drew from were uh, Curtis Mayfield, you know, was a big one. Uh, Isaac Hayes was a really big inspiration. And then the more funk stuff, like, and, you know, as opposed to disco, like uh, Lewis Johnson, the Brothers Johnson, Quincy Jones, uh, Larry Graham, like all of these sort of like rock star funk uh, musicians from the 70s. Sure, you know, I think my character has a beautiful duality to her. She's complex, just like everyone is, just like so many amazing women are. So there is a calm about her, there is a sophistication, there's an elegance but she's also ready to kick some ass at any given second. So I think that playing with that duality has been a really fun uh, project for me. The whole process has gone better than I, I ever could have imagined it. Just like the whole team is fantastic. Just, just all the elements coming together uh, in this way that I know is very rare uh, when you're endeavoring to do something this large, a musical, all these moving pieces. You know, we have a lot of women on our team. Um, Jen Warner, the director, Jen Tepper, as we talked about, Peggy Eisenhower, one of the line designers, Sarah Fina, one of the, co the, the costume designer. Um, you know, it's just a room full of people who lead with empathy, and there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of intelligence, everybody has a place to speak and talk about what they want to, and everybody listens, and there's a lot of listening, and I think that it really sets the tone for the room, and we have men, women, everybody, you know, we're just all listening to each other and working together in a way that I haven't experienced before. You know, if we ever get on a stage, this will be like a triumph, and the fact that we've gotten on a stage in New York City, off-Broadway, a beautiful off-Broadway theater, is just like the greatest dream come true so I uh, couldn't be happier that we made it here and uh, yeah I'm, yeah I'm happy that yeah. audiences and people uh, are really digging the show we had this idea we really want to write a show for Annie Golden how come no one's written a show for Annie Golden a living legend and and we just have a special connection shining a light on her is very emotional and so there was some like definitely some tears tonight it's a long time coming yep. thrilling, yeah thrilling. it's thrilling yeah, we started this many many years ago it's nice for New York to finally see it. We gotta stick together. We gotta lift each other up. Not on a gender level, but just on a human level. Lift the people around you up, you know? Because by lifting them up, you're lifting yourself. We're just thrilled. I mean, we're both thrilled to get to do a role that is so fierce and gets to do this amazing singing and shows such courage and falls in love. It's just a fantastic role, so. Um, it's amazing. I mean, we've been, this has been a labor of love for years and, um, you know, to be surrounded by this group of people and and uh, to experience the show tonight with the, with the crowd we had was amazing. To do this thing with two people I love, to bring in all these other people we love, uh, and just to put all that love on stage, it's really, really special. If we're going to have a moment of the show that sort of talks about Broadway, it's it should be Young People the Musical. So make some stuff you believe in. That's it. That's all there is. The first time I've really gotten to work with a producer who is as passionate, if not more passionate, than sometimes about something than I am. And it's really wonderful to have a partner who pushes you to be better than you are and also like supports you at every turn and has the biggest heart in the world. I would like to say to the fans, thank you for supporting me. Thank you to the fans who have been with me for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Thank you to fans who are in their 80s. Uh, thank you to fans who are in their teens. Uh, it truly means the world to me that intelligent, kind, passionate people respond to what I do and to what my family of misfits do. And um, we're going to keep doing it, no matter what anyone says. When you're a woman of a certain age.